Welcome to the case summary for Oxendine versus State on 4lawnotes.com. This is a case where a defendant's girlfriend had pushed a six-year-old child uh, into a bathtub and caused tears in his intestines. The following morning, the defendant was trying to get the child out of bed and punched him in the stomach, and the child died later that day. The defendant was convicted for manslaughter and appealed on the basis that causation could not be established for the death of the child. Uh, the medical experts could not separate the effects of the two different injuries inflicted on the child. So the issue is whether causation can be attributed to the contribution of the injuries that the defendant inflicted on the child that would otherwise be non-lethal. So the court held that the evidence was insufficient to sustain a manslaughter conviction because the state's medical expert could not separate the effects of the two injuries inflicted on the child. And in reaching this holding, they cited the rule that contribution without acceleration is insufficient to establish causation. And citing this rule, they made a distinction between acceleration and aggravation, and that acceleration would be a direct causation link to the victim's death, whereas aggravation may not be. And that concludes this case summary for Oxendine versus State on 4lawnotes.com.